Hello Sprites, welcome back to the channel. We have reset day. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Let's go ahead and grab a cozy spot, maybe some coffee and sit back, enjoy the video. All right, so it is for Disney Princess Week. So let's go ahead and take a peek at our results, everyone. I am excited about this one. Oh, no connection. All right, <laughs> that's been happening a lot. Okay, Peach Keen, end of summer mini event. Ooh, okay. So I guess let's take a look at this real quick since I am here. So greeting Valley Villagers. It is time to celebrate the end of summer in the Valley with our new mini event. All right. Grab your binoculars and search the Valley for some specialty marshmallows. Then use those marshmallows to make tasty treats for exclusive rewards. The event won't last forever, so start your search today. See you in the valley. That's kind of weird. They didn't say how long the event will go. We'll claim what they are wanting. Okay, so we'll take a look at that later on. Not a problem. We'll get into that. Let's actually take a look at what we're here for. All right. Disney Princess Week Challenge score 85.36 with a rank of 549, 4,000 moonstones, 186 pixel dust. I am so happy with that, guys. That makes me so happy. Yay. Now, last week, I also did receive 4,000 moonstones. I think I was like rank two something. Thing is what it was so I am doing pretty good right now you know I don't think I'll do great with this one that we're doing voting for for the Madrigal but that's okay you know sometimes you have your off weeks and sometimes you have your good weeks so it's how it goes all right so this is my snap now most of you know we did create this on live stream I went ahead and did this in Eternity Isle in the lagoon. So I had the beautiful waterfall in the background. I wanted to use, of course, the gazebos, the number one item. We wanted to go ahead and use that. So went ahead and had, actually there's three of them there. You can see two for sure. But off to the right side, there is a third one there. And of course I wanted more princesses. Like I wanted Tiana, but my game did keep crashing in here. So this is kind of who we got and I'm still okay with it. I loved having Ariel and Belle in there. And I loved the new companion, the little um, Ottoman dog. He is so cute, especially with his pose reaction for the camera. I mean, you're, it's, it's, it's so cute. I think it's adorable. It, it To me, it's kind of like the Figaro one. And so I think it's very cute. And I think it probably played in my favor. But of course, I have beautiful um, things all throughout the area. We have some pretty stuff going on there. We I can't think of them. Oh my goodness, fireflies. <laughs> Those are the pretty beautiful things. <laughs> oh well um but we've got those going through of course we had to add those as well those are you know the new fireworks i think they're almost going to be in every single snap hopefully they won't get too over tiring but they are a lovely little addition just to go to ed and add that little sparkle and twinkle so yeah this is my snap and i'm really happy for it all right, let's go ahead and take a look real quick because we now know we can get specific things in our chest. So let's see what we've got here. Always opening them anyway. I always have. So we have some pants, which I do have. I guess I don't wear them very often. Some earrings and that dress. Okay, so we're all good there. No problem. Now look, guys, here is a marshmallow bush already. That's funny. Look at the little marshmallows. Excuse me, too cute. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what the current challenge is. Oh, make it camp. It's time to get campy. Literally dress yourself for a hike in the forest or a night sleeping under the stars or sunlit plateau on the sunlit plateau bring your unique fashion sense to a cozy comfy look for time outdoors with valley pals 
playful, three, familiar, two, with bonus of um, back and casual. Okay, this will be fun. So uh, that we've already had kind of a camping one once before. And actually, funny enough, I did that one and just never got results for it. It was during me being sick. You all probably know that. Um, so... This will be fun to actually be able to do a camping one. I think I will enjoy this a lot. And I love camping, although I haven't gone in years, but I do love camping. So this will be fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get some voting on La Casita. All right. Um, oh, well, okay, there we go. All right. So now this one, I kind of feel... So I guess the thing is with this one, there were a lot of, there's two ways you can go with it. You can do an inspired room like that is by actual, um, in Kanto and everything maybe, or you can just do a room that is what your room would be, which is technically the way it is stated. What is your very own room? It doesn't necessarily have to be major stuff for, um, in Kanto. So we can actually, in this, it's kind of hard to say, well, this is directly in the line of what the challenge is. I think this leaves the challenge a little more open. So I'm just going to go ahead and vote on the overall room and picture that I like the best. So let's go ahead, take a look. Ooh, this is so cute. It's like your Cinderella, but you have a little all set up like you're sewing and you have a little easel there for artistic. But pretty much I just see kind of an artistic thing here going on. And I really like that. This is a very cute room. I like the window, the lighting there. The cooking pot is an interesting addition. I love your character. She's very pretty. Love it look at this one. Ooh, I love this. It is bright and colorful. It definitely has a feel of Encanto to it, especially since you have some of the items there. Interesting with all the different, it's like maybe I guess a plant jungle theme kind of room here. We've got a bunch of different tables though. I should say like two tables and a coffee table. So I'm kind of interested in why all the tables. I love the floor. The floor is so cool. I think that's really a neat floor to use in this. Very nice. Your character is really cute. I love her little freckles. I think I am probably, overall, I kind of like the look of the right side the best. All righty. Oh, okay. This is a nice place. I feel like there's a lot of open space, though. You could have probably put some of the items throughout there to spread them out. I also do not like the black abyss around your photo. Um, we could have pushed just push your items further in since you didn't use a whole a lot of items to begin with you could have pushed it further back and go ahead but i love the photo i love the wallpaper i love all the colors it definitely speaks in canto you have those items down I really do like this and your character is very cute. I definitely feel the vibe of we do not talk about Bruno. <laughs> very nice. Ooh, this is pretty. I love this and I love that you're barefoot. I love it. This is so pretty. Definitely has a Rapunzel vibe going on. I love that window with this. I love everything set up. It's real cute and cozy. I like how you have the coffee table set up with the plants and the books. I love all the books around. I love the little art easel set up there. Oh, I love this. And I even love that window with the brick wall. I really do. And that that rug is just absolutely gorgeous. And I like that you have different rugs in different spaces. It's not just the one big rug. I really like that. I love the colorings. I love that you're wearing a purple cardigan. It is so cute. Very nice. It definitely has this feel that I want to go for right now. I need fall in my life and I want the cooler weather to wear cardigans and all that stuff. Be all comfy cozy. And that is what I feel in this. I love it. We are voting for it. All right. Ooh, cold. And we did outside. That's the other thing. I think some people, most people are trying to do it inside, but I think you could go outside route and there isn't anything wrong with that. 
I do love all of <laughs> your characters with the snowman out there. Very cute. Your special power must be making like snowmen or something like that. Very nice. I love your character. I love the red shoes with the light jeans and the white shirt. Very clean cut. Nicely dressed. Very nice job. Ooh, so we have somewhat of, we're using Tiana and we're using some of the, oh, that headpiece goes very well actually with the dress, very nicely paired. And then we've got a lot of Rapunzel in here. We have um, that craftable bed. I have yet to craft that because I don't have any of the pieces anyway to do it. So, but I do like this. I even like that you have a little TV going on. And of course you have Tiana in here with you. This is really cute as well. I think we are, I like both of them, but I like the coloring. Uh, I don't know. I like the brightness of the outside one too. We're going with the right. All right. So let's take a look at the left. Ooh, bright. Ooh, I feel like there are so much. This feels like a little kid's room to me. We've got all the bright colors here. We've got the little candy things on the wall. We have Daisy's dresser, which literally feels like Daisy's dresser is cute, but I literally feel like it's that that like age when you're like a you know between six and ten possibly that's what you want for your dresser. Little wardrobe there. It's so cute. Your character is beautiful in that dress. I love the hair with the crown. All the items very nice. I feel like you could have filled in the space around you a little bit, even just putting out a rug. But I do like your room. Ooh, we have a lovely library study. Ooh, I really like this. This is a very nice setup. I do like the little cozy couch with the chairs and the ottomans. This is very nice. And you even have like the little fish tank and of course a desk over there. Two desks. You've got the artistic side and then the more studious side, you could say. I do like this. It's very nice. I'm not sure I like the angle. Um, I also don't like the black abyss, but it's still a really nice room. I think, though, I am probably going to vote. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and vote for the studious room. I like that setup a lot, even though it has the black abyss and the angle. We're still going to vote for it. All right. Let's take a look here. Oh, look at this. I love this. This is very nice. It's like you have two sides of your room, maybe a two side. Um, you share it with someone kind of like the kid side there and then the little bit more maybe teenage side or princess side. You could go up there. Your character is so cute. I love that pose with this. So I wasn't entirely sure how I felt about the new poses. I feel like they're a little odd, but there are times with each of them, if you wait for the right part, that the pose, I think, is a little bit better. And this is one of them where you kind of do the jump up and excitement. So I do like that. I like this setup. Very nice. Oh, this is, oh my goodness, this is a teeny room, but it's so cute and cozy. I love the cozy vibe. It's like you just come here and sit to have a cup of tea or in my case, coffee, and you have nice blankets there, a little clock. I love all the monsters on the wall though. That would maybe bother me just a little bit. I feel like I'm not being watched with all those eyes, especially the one up there with the bunch of eyes. This is so cute though, and your character's adorable i love her with the little poncho outfit on very nice we are voting for it all right okay so this might be a last submission or a late submission i should say maybe you didn't have time any of that sort of thing so we've got you going there i can understand that um we just kind of set out some items. It is still a nice photo. I do feel like maybe if you were just going to set some items out, you know, kind of make a, a different setup a little bit, maybe to get you a little nicer shot in there, but very nice. I do like that you have Beast Castle in the background and it's nice. You do have a character as well and your or an additional companion character like Tiana is what I mean. And your um, character is very cute. I like her outfit. Very nice and sweet. All right. Oh my goodness. I love this. 
this with the Donald Duck. Oh, it's like you're honestly, like, in a way, it's like you are um, Bruno when he goes ahead and he um, puts his hood over and he says, I think it's Jorge does the spackle. That's kind of what that reminds me of, almost like you're doing that. We got a little bit of the Black Abyss there. That's just my pickiness. I don't like the Black Abyss. I try real hard not to get it if I do inside, and I know sometimes it's not easy. I do like your setup, though. I like the little area with the books and the little Beauty and the Beast pillow and blanket set over there. You have the table with the books. It's very nice. It's actually a very clean room besides the pile of books, but... You know, sometimes a pile of books is a good thing. <laughs> I am voting for it. All right. Ooh, very clean and very not a whole lot of item room. Um, I would have maybe used a smaller room if that was the case or even just maybe move more of the items in one corner and then go ahead and just zoom in and take in that little space there. I love the items that you use though. We've got Rapunzel and Encanto items. Your character is very cute. I love her with the glasses and I love the auburn color hair. Love it. That is some of my favorite color hair. If I ever go back to not doing fun colors, it probably would be an auburn color or red i love it with the caramels very nice Ooh, oh my goodness see here we go we got lots of sparkle we gotta add the sparkle with the fireflies they're so cute what is that big bright light though there's two spots oh is that from the rapunzel light is that why they're doing that so that's one thing about that light i feel like they do a real bright spotlight I'm not 100% about it being over your head because I feel like it fuzzes out your character a little bit there. I do like the photo though. It's very cute. I like that you have some stuff in the foreground. We'll ignore the little black abyss corner because it's just small enough. I'm okay with it. I like that you have like a little desk there with a the computer. Your character is very cute. I do kind of like you have two beds maybe you have a sibling that is with you or maybe you know that's your more relaxed reading bed while one is your sleeping bed and you have the cute little wicker hanging chair which is adorable i love your photo i am voting for it Ooh, this looks fun okay i love this <clears throat> This is a really cute photo, guys, and I love that it's very small. It's one of the smaller um, angled photos, I guess. Not angled photos. What do you want to say? The smaller cut photos? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't know what to say on that. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like this. Your character is beautiful with her freckles. And of course, she's got the Mirabelle glasses. She's wearing the Mirabelle outfits. I love it with the gladiator sandals. It works really well. I like that there's, you know, that the um, archway in there, the Hercules archway with the flowers. It's very interesting to have it in there, but it's, it's cute. It works. And then you've got a nice little setup there, like for sewing and your bed. Very nice. I love the little monster guy he's just sitting there looking at you out of the little corner <laughs> oh i love this okay so this is like an artistic music room is how i feel just seeing this right off the bat you've got two music instruments there you've got some books you have the painted window along with the easel your character looks really cute she looks so happy and excited about doing all her artistic music i love it and i love the coloring i like the wall and everything so you got a little bit of green hue to everything the carpet works really well um yeah this is really nice let's go ahead i love both of these i think i'm going to vote for the one on the left <clears throat> all right this one is cute. Your character is very cute. I love her outfit with the mini ears. And you got some, I think it's black lipstick. It's kind of hard to tell whether it's black or like a dark green or something. But I do like this. I feel though you just, you may have not had time. But just to stand in front of Casita doesn't necessarily, um, I don't know feel like it says it and you've got i would have decorated at least a little bit more outside to kind of if you were going to use casita the actual house as a backdrop just do a lot more decorative out there because it would have made the photo 
it would have really helped it out. I do like the photo though. It's a nice positional photo. I like the angle of the house and everything and you get angles of walkways and stuff. You could have done a lot with this. All righty. Okay, cute. I love your room. It's very fun. A little dark and the, the flooring, maybe you didn't have flooring. <laughs> So you use the really terrible, like, beat-up flooring, but maybe that's what you want in your room. I don't know. But I would have maybe not done this angle, um, but your character's cute stand in there. I love her. Oh, she's so adorable. And I love all the items that you have there. I know you're probably doing the angle to go ahead and show the whole room and everything, but I would have done it a little bit a different angle. You could have moved some things closer in, just make a small area just to go ahead and get a nice photo to show everything. But it's really nice and I am actually voting for it. All right, let's look at the next one. Oh, look at this. Your character is like the show of the photo. I'm sorry, but she is so cute. And the fact that I can almost, it's almost like I can see the stars glistening in her eyes because the eyes that you chose for your character, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love the hair. I love the Mickey ears. She is so cute with all the little freckles and everything. And she's got like a little button nose. It's just so cute. Um, you may have not had enough items. And so this is what you put out. It is not a bad setup. I can understand when you've got that and everything, but your character is actually for me, the star of the photo. Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this. I love the room. I love the setup. Look at this. Your character is gorgeous. Look at her. I love the bun hair. I don't think you see this um, hair used that often. I don't feel like we do. And I think it's such a cute hairstyle. I love that you have Mirabelle with you and you guys almost look like your twinsies with your matching skirts there a little, excuse me, a little bit. Such a cute photo. I feel like there's some space that could have been filled in, but that's just me. It's still really nice photo. I like that it's like a corner angle. So you get little bits of each side there. Very nice. We are voting for it. All right. And we'll do one more and then we are, have our 50 already. So this is really cute. I'm not sure I like the wall being so sparse because it's such just a blank wall. If it, if it was something that had a little bit more detail to the wallpaper, that could be fine. But I feel like for me, I just, I like having artwork on my walls. So I would go ahead and add that. I love that you have the Remy window there for Ratatouille. Very cute. I would have even also moved your, um, wardrobe over a little bit since you have such few items just kind of maybe move the stuff over in a corner a little bit and make a real small shot would have been a lot it would have helped the shot a lot without all this open space i do love everything you use though and your character is so cute i love the square glasses all right Oh my goodness, look at this photo. I love this and I the filter on it does help. I believe there is a filter to make things a little more pinky and kind of, I guess it's slightly pastel, lighten it up and brighter. I do like this though. I like everything. I like the angle of the shot. I love how you have the lanterns in there. Your character is cute with her outfit. I love that dress. It's so pretty. And this is just darling. I love that it's pretty much all Rapunzel stuff. So it's like you have that artistic side that you're trying to show and it is really cute. We are voting for it. All right, we have our 50. So now let's take a look at the shop. Oh my goodness, we have the Agrabah Market set. Yes, oh boy. $17.50, that's not bad. Let's take a look at the set. All right, so you have the pottery stand. That's pretty cute. We have the loom. Oh, I like that. It feels a bit chunky, but I mean, for the period time, it wouldn't be so thin and but a loom is kind of chunky i guess more or less i'm just looking at the big bricks on the side so but i do like that that's pretty cool and then we have the fruit market stand this is really cute i love that i love the baskets oh that is pretty cool 
Very nice. This, ooh, what is this? The jewelry stand? How is that a jewelry? That just looks like little pottery, gold pottery. There doesn't seem to be any jewelry, unless they're just saying jewelry in general for anything shiny. But I don't see any necklaces, rings, any of that, and I feel like that should be a part of that. I do like the stand style, though. Ooh, this, I have to say, is something I love. This rug set up. Oh, this is so cool. I like this. When I saw this, when they were showing things for the update and I saw this, I was like, oh, it totally looks like carpet off to the side. That is really cool. All right. So that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five. You get five stands for $17.50. We will go for it. That is not a bad pricing. All right. Continue. We are going to get that. Okay. So we'll do that. Next we have, which jumps down so far, we have Junior Wilderness Explorer outfit. Now this is a cute outfit, I'm not gonna lie. We'll look at it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi. I kind of like it, guys. I don't know. I, I don't want it. When I saw this originally, I wasn't wanting to get it. But it's kind of cute. This would be kind of cute to... Although this week's challenge is an outfit challenge, so you want more than just an outfit, but this would be totally cute to have on Oh, for camping. Oops. And then, of course, you get the hat. Oh, we may have to get it. I don't know. I wasn't planning on it, but it's kind of cute. I like it in a way. <laughs> 1,200 moonstones. We'll we'll think about it. We'll think on it. All right. The next. Why does it jump? It's like it goes up slowly, but it jumps down. All right. Let's take a look. The triangle house bundle. Now, I when I saw this, I thought this was pretty cute because this definitely looks like a cute little log cabin house. Very adorable. I love the green tones. I love that it's with the brown. It's very neutral tones, I should say. Very nice. I love the little setup. The front door is so cute. And it's like you got a little bed plaque on the top. So cute. And the rocking chair alone. Oh my goodness. That is an adorable rocking chair. I could see like a little old granny sitting in the rocker chair. Oh my goodness. All right. We are definitely getting this. We are buying this. Bye bye, Moonstones. Bye bye, Moonstones. All right. Let's take a look further down. Oh, sorry, guys, it jumps so bad. Okay, we have the Levy Cottage, which is my Snow White Cottage. This, oh, really? Oh, where are my moonstones going to go? And it works. Oh, it's a peacock up at the top. It's Jasmine's Courtyard Fountain. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. So cute. Oh, I wonder how big it is, though. I'm curious how big it is, but we are going to go ahead and get it. I want it. I want it. The fountain is pretty. We use fountains a lot for like anything, to be honest. Look at that. I love how it's actually like a two-headed peacock. If you look at it, they have a peacock head on each side. And then the way the fountain, the water goes, it's like its tail friend. So cute. All right. We have those. Let's see. We have the Dapper Delight Star Path going. We own the Signature Bundle, Island Bundle, those. We have all those. What is there? Did I not pass it? Oh, I okay. Limited time deals. This is what I was looking for. It looks like we have the Field Day Ensemble and the Cozy Wanderer Bundle. These, I do own both of these. I would have liked to get them at the, the limited time deal, but it's all right. I do like them. I have, to be honest, I bought the Wanderer Bundle and I haven't really used it. I had intention to use the, um, the bench there for something and then I never ever did. I didn't, I did totally opposite direction of something. So that's kind of why I bought the Wanderer Bundle thing. But um, very cute. They're both really cute. Um, occasionally, the um, Field Day Ensemble, I kind of like the jacket. I do not wear the um, watch. And I did kind of mostly buy this for the really cute um, overall set for the Monsters, Inc. And everything. That is pretty cute. So 
But we are down to 950 moonstones. My goodness, guys, I need more moonstones already. Oh, that's so terrible. All right, let me go ahead. Oh my goodness, I still have to clean this up. I was gifted last stream by wonderful community members and they left me gifts and I need to clean it up. All right, let's see what Scrooge has for us before we head out for the video today. I have all of these. Do I have any good items? He's been really stingy again. He's starting to be stingy. I have those. I have that. I have that. I have that. Anything over here? Oh, you're such a stingy man, Scroogey. And I think I have that blue chair, to be honest. Yep, nothing. Not a Scrooge. And I bought you a new outfit and you're this stingy. How unfair. All right, I would like to thank all of my subscribers, anyone who likes, comments, or shares, and my wonderful members. You guys are absolutely fantastic. The way that you support me and my channel, I couldn't... I couldn't say any more. I, I really a lot of times have no words for you guys and I love each and every one of you. So thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we will see you at the next video. Bye.